So Loudwire put out an article, 10 Metal Songs That Are Impossible to Sing. As you all know, it is my job to sing impossible vocal lines, so I could not let this slide without giving this a shot myself. Before we get into that, I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this video. Sennheiser sent me this new wireless mic. It's called the Evolution Wireless Digital. It has beautiful dynamic range with the ability to pick up the loudest sound and the softest sound. It achieves five times more input range than 120 decibel systems. This is 134 decibels. <laughs> I mean, 134 decibels is so high that it eliminates a sensitivity setting altogether. This is the highest of any wireless mic system ever. Leaving all the technical stuff aside, this is a great mic for live streaming and a video like this where you want to put more energy, more of a performance. See, I'm, I'm moving around. So if you're interested in one of these microphones, you can go to the link right in the description below and check it out. Now let's get to 10 metal songs that are impossible to sing, brought to you by Loudwire. Some of these vocal lines that are listed here, I have definitely tried in the past and failed, but today I'm just gonna go for it. We got Slayer, Angel of Death. The famous part of this song is the scream in the beginning. I want you to die! Slow death! Immense decay! Showers to cleanse you of your life! Death down! Your life work! Human minds! For the engine of death! 400,000 more to die! Forced in! Like how do you run? Stripped up! Your life's worth! Human minds! For the angel of death! 400,000 more to die! The angel of death! Monitor the kingdom of the dead! Tom Araya has my favorite thrash metal voice. We got Merciful Fate, Gypsy. The opening few seconds. You have your king reach an amazing falsetto before transitioning into regular singing on a dime. Let's hear it. I never heard this song. This magic wins in the hide, I see a light. Again, I hear that tune, some sort of cry. Crown! Crown! It's actually a little bit more difficult to do that Ovel. Yeah, he's got a beautiful falsetto. And a great voice. Highly influential. Merciful Fate, King Diamond, you damn right. Typo Negative, Christian Woman, one of my favorite bands of all time. Sure, the notes might be all correct, but getting that distinctive growl is something that you're either born with or you're not, which is absolutely true. I don't know for sure, but I think Pete was a bass. I am a high baritone, and I don't even know for sure because I've had few, a few people tell me different things. Some of you know me for the typo negative themed videos I've done in the past. Are you ready for, ready for? The lowest note in that video isn't anywhere near Pete's lowest note. That's probably at about the bottom of my register. Anything else goes into fry. But let's hear the verse. Oh, Billie Eilish. <laughs> she looks like Billie Eilish. An image burning in her mind and between her thighs. Ugh. That's pure fry. See, Pete had both the fry and the natural voice. A good example of that is in the middle of this song when he says, Body of Christ. Oh, Corpus, he says Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. That's straight up like, you can't fake that. That's a that's a nice, beautiful, round, full note. Corpus Christi. That's pure fry. <laughs> Corpus Christi. <laughs> and if you double that. Corpus Christi. She needs, she needs Corpus Christi, Corpus Christi. <laughs> That's the difference between Corpse Husband and Peter Steele. <laughs> oh boy. All right, moving on. So we have Alice in Chains, Man in the Box. I've covered this once before. 
when I showed you a before and after from years ago when I used to butcher this song constantly before I got vocal lessons. <laughs> It was my brother, he knew. You know, I used to butcher this song a lot back then. I don't know if it was around 2008 or 2010. Well, either way, in either case, it was a national tragedy. Rest in peace, Norm MacDonald. All right. I remember this song playing in, on the radio, rock radio, back when New York had a nice, reliable rock station. And I'd be like, wow, I love this song. Makes me think of just good things. Jesus Christ hey, 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 you tries Oh, feed my eyes Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast Okay, so there's a good chance that even Bruce doesn't dare touch this o song's opening scream like the recording, though, being able to both scare you and take your breath away. How forceful it is. You're right. Yeah! That's like, yeah! <laughs> oh, no. I want to hear the isolated vocal. Yeah! That's, that's really cool. He keeps that like, yeah! as well as the, yeah! yeah! Something like that, just not as, not as long. Because obviously Bruce Dickinson, you know, because obviously I can't compete with God. What's no use holding back? There's no use holding back. His regular singing style is, I feel, more difficult than that kind of scream. Because, like, you have to constantly, you have to have so much support. You have to have a strong core. You got to be a man of balls. Tool to grudge. Most singers who've been around the block a couple of times know, have been known to indulge in those endurance test notes. Of course, here we come. The The grudge is, is held for a full 25 seconds. I just want to hear the tone first, and then I'm going to time it. Don't even think about it, just do it. That's all I can do right now. 15 seconds. Fine. <laughs> you got me on that one. Uh, Lincoln Park. Giving up. Oh, boy. This is something that... This is a trend that goes around on the internet. A lot of people love to do Lincoln Park's giving up scream. But I, I find that there are a lot of people who just throw themselves into a scream and that's it. And I, I never... I always wanted to avoid doing that because he's hitting a note. You know, that's the thing about Chester's screams is that he was hitting notes and shit like they're, they were, he was screaming on to pitch him and Devin Townsend do that shit all the time. Let me hear the like, given up just vocal. I got the instrumental here right now. Just just so I can time it correctly. That's a lot closer than I ever got in the past. I, I failed the shit out of those the, this screen before. Shit! But that's it. Like, put me out of my fucking misery! That's the idea, you know? But I can't hold that. Yeah! 
<laughs> apparently for 17 seconds. I don't know why, but <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll get it eventually. But why should I? You know what I mean? Let the man have his legacy. Okay. A perfect circle, Judith. I actually didn't expect to see this song on here. I haven't heard this song in many years, and I love this song. Fuck your God, your Lord, your Christ. By the way, that's the only words I know of this song, and I said I love the song, which means I'm lying. <laughs> Fake fan here. Fake fan. It's not like you killed someone. I lied. I know that part. I might want to do a version of this someday. I like this song. I really do. I don't know all the words, but I do like the song. Why is this on the list? Maynard's final note is held going for a full 16 seconds while also changing notes in between. There's nothing like a Maynard yell. He did it all for you! I would assume that when you're doing like a long scream like that, you you get in some kind of like zen place. You're just removed from you actually doing it. Pantera's Pantera, <laughs> Pantera Cemetery Gates. I just did a cover of this with Ola England and Delta Empire. I remember seeing an interview or hearing an interview that Phil said that that line. Memories now unfold, or the memories still remain, both the same note, was more difficult than anything in that song. He was like, you know, throwing things in a studio because he could not get, Memories still unfold! I could barely get it. Memories now unfold! That's what a lot of people don't understand, unless you're a vocalist. These... High, super high notes are pretty easy if you understand the different areas of the voice. Once you get into the high, high, that's like head voice shit. But that, memories now unfold! You need like a little mix, tiny bit of head voice mixed in with chest. It's like mainly chest. It's difficult for all of you non-singer motherfuckers out there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little. I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson. Anyway. Let's yeah. just... Judas Priest. The painkiller. It is the painkiller. I love this song, though. He is painkiller. This is the painkiller. Oh! Bam, bam, bam. What is that like? Ah! That's what it kind of sounds like. Rob Halford's another legend. He is a god amongst men. Oh, man, I love this shit. I love this old school shit. It makes me. It makes me want to put on leather and just dance around. He's got a really good chest resonance in his head voice, though. And he really can, can like... Dead Lee Wheels Pain Killer! Like, kind of, like, shout the that shit. Sometimes I feel like I don't have... Like, I don't have that kind of power. He does. Painkiller feels like it's almost going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Pavarotti, though, as Rob gets the final note and just hangs there for the hell of it while the rest of the band takes their sweet time catching up. That's a bold statement because Pavarotti's in a league of his, his own. Two different genres. Pavarotti is like all chest. He's all chest. Oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. yeah that does go on forever. Pain can't stop the pain killer. No, you can't, you motherfucker. Well, thank you for watching me attempt 
Loudwire's 10 impossible metal vocals. Do you think they are the top 10, or do you think there are other vocal lines that are worthy to be on this list instead of others? Put them in the comments. Let me know. What do you think are the most impossible vocal lines for a metal vocalist to sing or scream? Be sure to press like, subscribe, go follow me on other socials like Instagram, and that's it. Take care. Have a good one.